Turner and I did a model shoot a couple weeks ago in Incheon, South Korea. We both shoot landscapes, street photography, and documentary style photography almost exclusively. So we thought it would be a good idea to mix it up a little bit and shoot a couple models. As always, we packed up the car with our gear and headed out. We rented a hotel suite that turned out to be much smaller than it appeared on the hotel's website. Nevertheless, it was a nice location with eye-catching decor and a classy look. We managed to get two decent sets out of it, the living room and the bedroom. Both models are amateurs and this was a trade for portfolio shoot, so there was no pressure on anyone. We just wanted to have a fun day shooting photos and hopefully produce some good results. We took the additional step of hiring a professional makeup artist. Tessa from Seoul did a nice job and it always puts the models in a good frame of mind to have a professional makeup artist working with them. This was a huge challenge for me, since I had never shot this style of photography before. I have been shooting only landscape and street photography for the last year, so I was definitely out of my comfort zone shooting studio-like and modeling pictures. At times I was really frustrated with how the shoot was going as far as lighting and getting the first model just to let loose. My advice to everyone who wants to get into portrait and studio photography is to do just what we have done here, and that is to do a free shoot and practice on each other's technique. Being new to using off-camera flash was so frustrating because I just wasn't getting the shots I wanted. As you may know, lighting and composition is everything, and mastering those two things is what you have to do to become a true professional. But overall, I had a lot of fun, and I learned a lot on both where I stand as a photographer and how to work with clients. Thanks, Felix, for setting all this up, my man. Okay, so I know this is a gratuitous voyeuristic butt shot, but our model Zoe does have a really nice butt, and if she's watching, I'm sure she'll agree. If you ever wonder what models do when they're not in front of the camera, Surrender here it is. Unto me. Our resources, time and money are limited here in Korea. Neither of us own studio strobes, we just have camera mounted external flashes and continuous lighting which is really better suited for video, but we may do the best we can and took advantage of the natural light. Our biggest challenge was when the sun went down. As you see here, Turner really had to jimmy our lighting gear to get the look he was going for. Now here's an interesting interaction that is a good example of the challenges of working with an amateur model. It also highlights the importance of trust and chemistry between a model and photographer. Bite the lip. This would be a good moment to bite the lip. That, that's too sexy. Like, it doesn't make sense. No? Too sexy? Too sexy? Too sexy. Like, too sexy. So what do you want? Then what do you want out of these photos though? What do you like, want? Not like porn stuff. No, it's not. She doesn't want it promiscuous. She wants it more classic. You want it classic. But this is like why, <laughs> why, why are you saying this is totally hard? this right here is cla is great. This really? looks really great. Yeah. I'm gonna show you the pictures here in a second. I mean, I don't know what you mean by classy. Like, 
I don't even know, but that, I don't want to look. You want to sit up and I don't want to look. Yeah, you, she doesn't want to look like a calendar model. She wants to look more like like the James Bond girlfriend. James Bond. James Bond's girlfriend. She is James Bond's girlfriend. The new one coming up. Totally. Totally. <laughs> yeah, this is great. This the, this has got a really nice look to okay. it. It looks great. It looks good. Okay, no it more biting the lip then. Okay. I mean, I can do that. I can do that. No. <laughs> no, if we look, I'm just worried about. It's not going to be like. That make. Oh, oh. What if they make me like look cheaper? No, no. no. And and besides, you're going to get copies of all the photos, and then just pick the ones you like. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you better be. No, it's good. <laughs> I understand. How do you say I understand? Yes, yeah, so. That yeah. one. Yeah. 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 Okay. Looks good. I guess it looks really photo. good. Do you want serious photos? No, let's do this. Laughing's fine? Is laughing fine? Like smiling a little bit? What about in those magazines where a little bit of teeth was showing? Mm -hmm. I'm really just trying to get to see some teeth, like a little bit of teeth. Not like, I don't know. But, you know, you're kind of like this. Mm. You don't want all your photos to be like this. Just yeah. <laughs> okay. okay. Like, Shooting the other model, Savvy, was a lot more comfortable and enjoyable, but that's because she has an entirely different personality. But we seem to have more trust and confidence in each other as well. And now it's time to take a look at some of the pictures from today's shoot. All in all, it was a fun, productive day. We got some decent shots and had a fun time. Once we put the cameras down, things got a lot more lighthearted. There was a full leather motorcycle racing suit in our room as part of the decor, so Zoe put it on and danced around a little bit, acting silly. This shows more of her real personality. She's a great girl, a total goofball, and a lot of fun to be around, and hopefully we'll get to shoot with her and Savvy again soon. The next morning we packed up our gear and made the trip back home. Another photography project in the books. Thanks for watching. Be sure to comment, like this video, and subscribe to our channel. And stay tuned for more vlogs and full-length episodes from HeyDon'tShoot.com.